Greetings to everyone listening. This is Dr. Thomas Nurbass with an explanation of cupping therapy for anyone experiencing headaches, tension anywhere in the body, pain anywhere in the body, cramping anywhere in the body. This is going to be a wonderful educational video for you. Now, first of all, I'd like to explain this analogy of the circulatory system, the arteries, veins, and everything in between, using a garden hose metaphor. So just visualize for a moment that we have a garden hose um, operating as the mechanism that is delivering the, the nutrition to the garden. So same thing with the body. There is circulation, oxygenated blood from the lungs moving to the rest of the tissues uh, through the arterial system. And then there is a venous return bringing deoxygenated blood back to the heart, to the lungs to be reoxygenated. Now, if there is muscle tension anywhere in the body, Typically, I'll find it in the upper traps and the rhomboids, the neck, uh, the latissimus dorsi muscles. Uh, could be erector spinae. Now, these tense areas are actually like putting a fold, a kink in a garden hose, and it's putting back pressure on the circulatory system. So just visualize now. Think of your heart as your pump, right? And then the kink in the garden hose is the muscle tension. And what happens is the pressure builds up between the kink and the pump. And that creates what we call high blood pressure or hypertension. After the kink in the garden hose, there's a deficiency of blood oxygen and nutrition because the muscle's so tight and it's impeding that circulation. So on that side, there's malnourishment not getting enough blood oxygen and nutrition to the tissues. So by releasing the kink in the garden hose, we remove the back pressure on the pump, so the high blood pressure goes away because there isn't a kink to push against anymore, so the blood circulation is unimpeded, and then we gain again blood oxygen and nutrition to the tissues. So you can see how valuable cupping is by clearing out fascia and muscle tension restriction as well as oxygenating the local areas and removing carbon dioxide and stagnation from the local areas being cupped. Now I'd like to discuss a little bit more about what cupping technique is designed for. So it's designed to pull uh, toxin buildup and muscle spasm from the deeper tissue levels to the surface of the skin for elimination. And this results in relaxation of tight muscles, reducing inflammation, acupuncture point stimulation, a release of toxins, increased circulation of blood, lymph, movement of fresh blood oxygen and nutrition into the areas being cupped. I've observed and continue to observe life-changing results with cupping therapy. So let me share with you the purpose and benefits of this because everyone deserves a life free of pain, unnecessary surgery and medication. So cupping is a non-needle alternative a treatment, the suction and negative pressure provided by cupping loosens stiff, tense muscles and fascia, resolving migraine headaches, neck pain, back pain, cramping, any pain anywhere in the body. It's promoting blood flow, sedating the nervous system. It's an effective treatment for high blood pressure, anxiety. The treatment's valuable for the lungs to enhance tissue oxygenation clearing congestion, cough, phlegm, bronchitis, and the like, resolving blockages to enhance lung capacity, oxygen metabolism, which results in improved energy and mobility. Cupping is one of the best deep tissue therapies available, affecting tissues up to 4 inches deep 
from the skin surface. And this increases the movement of fresh blood, improving oxygenation and nutrition transfer to the area. Promoting circulation with cupping eliminates for women the menstrual problems, digestive problems for men and women, including stomach aches, vomiting, diarrhea, and constipation, to name a few. A little on the history of cupping. It's been used for over 2,500 years by acupuncturists and therapists in many cultures, including the Chinese, the Egyptians, and Greeks. Cupping eventually spread to many other countries of Europe and is now being employed worldwide. Originally, animal horn was used for cupping. Eventually, bamboo cups were used, and today we use glass cups in a variety of different sizes. Cupping is diagnostic as well as therapeutic and tells me three basic things. First, cupping tells me exactly where the problem is, as I usually cup an area slightly larger than the painful region, in order to ensure that the pain is completely covered. Some skin under the cups will color and some won't, although the same amount of suction has been used with all cups. Even on the skin under a single cup, one part may color while the rest may not. These colored areas help me identify the sources of pain and discomfort. Second, cupping tells me the kind of problem with which I'm dealing, as problems relating to toxin buildup or muscle spasm will cause the skin under the cup to color, whereas issues dealing with nerve or bone will not color at all. Third, cupping shows me the severity of the problem, Light or moderate blockage will cause the skin under a cup to color pink or red, and it will take a day or two for this color to fade. Severe stagnation can cause the skin to color a deep scarlet, purple, or even black. It may take 7 to 10 days or more for the dark color to disperse. All of this information is helpful not only in treating the patient, but in making an accurate diagnosis as each location on the body relates with a corresponding organ and its function. If you receive cupping and after the session notice dark cupping marks, this is a sign that muscle tension, fascia restriction, scar tissue, or other interference inhibiting blood circulation is being cleared. More cupping is required at regular intervals to remove the interference until the skin no longer bruises following cupping application. No bruising means there is nothing interfering with blood circulation, and where there is circulation, there is no pain. With muscle and tissue tension present, the cupping sensation can be a bit uncomfortable for the first minute, the time during which most of the toxins are removed. The discomfort usually eases after a minute. Cups rarely need to be applied for more than 10 minutes. If no color appears, after a few minutes, cups can be removed and placed elsewhere on the body. Cupping is an extraordinary technique, and its effects are immediate. The healing process may be shortened by weeks or even months by using cupping therapy. For more information on cupping therapy and to schedule an appointment with me online, go to guidingneedleacupuncture.com to experience this ancient healing modality firsthand.